This is my what see story. Everything started with a simple question. What if you can create voxels inside Unreal Engine that is integrated with all lighting and FX features? I started generating cubes using instance static meshes and applied different materials based on their custom instance data. Then released the first announcement video that blew up my social media. Even 80 level covered it. To this point, everything was being calculated by CPU. And I started doubting if this could handle the amount of voxel people really need. I started digging more into GPUs. I learned the way of compute shaders. And I started writing everything from scratch using GPU as the core power. Then it started falling apart. Nothing was working as expected. There were lots of things to know and learn when you are dealing with GPU. I even accidentally produced some cool effect by experimenting on GPU buffers. I learned my lessons and fixed problems bit by bit. And then Unreal Engine 5.2 was released. I guess it was the changes in render dependency graph or RHI, but nothing was working anymore. It was crashing all the time. I spent two weeks to realize I can't revive a dead body. So I started from scratch again. At first, I thought maybe if I just recreate the asset that holds the voxel data could give me the idea of why it is crashing. But I end up rewriting everything, including the asset, toolkit, operations, basically everything. And I am grateful for doing that because now it was more efficient and well structured. Then try to make another artwork with what I had as a voxel tool and release another video of an artwork using Voxy. After doing a real artwork, I realized I have to improve the video memory consumption, so I started to optimize. It went from 2 gigabytes for approximately 2 millions of voxel to just less than 100 megabytes. With efficient memory allocation in hand, I had to test the amount of voxel it can render. So I put a lots of voxels together and realized it is not there yet. Next step was to implement level of details so we could render lower number of voxels at the far distance. After implementing LOD, I put it under a very heavy test and rendered about 400 millions of voxels. Now it was time to put it under real test. So I looked for a few artists in the voxel community to help me testing it and giving me feedbacks. The test started and I got over 100 feedbacks, so I had to put more efforts to address them. The more feedback I address, the more features they asked, and I am glad they did. It was a very great improvement for Waxy. All this time, I was working from very early in the morning, then going to my work, coming back, and working till midnight, almost every day. I can't thank enough for those who helped me on this path especially my family, to give me the time to work on what was my passion project. Now I'm at the end of this journey to begin another one, so hope that Voxy can help you with your project as well. I decided to release Voxy as a discounted early access version, so you might pick it up and test and tell me if you can spot a bug or crash or something. Voxy is ready and will be released on Marketplace soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.